Welcome to Combo Collectibles, your source for all things collectible. I'm your host, Spencer, and today we're back with another Funko Pop News update. And in case you didn't guess from the shirt, it's My Hero Academia! Uh, the My Hero Pops have been really cool so far, um, and recently I actually did a leaked pop video uh, with a few of these on here, but the list has updated and there's even more pops now, so I figured I'd give you guys a quick update on the new ones. Uh, so in my last video, we talked about the Infinite 100% Deku Glow in the Dark, uh, the Airy in Uniform exclusive, uh, the exclusive Shota Aizawa in Sleeping Bag, the Overhaul Fused with Shin exclusive, and the Mirio Glow in the Dark Keychain exclusive. Uh, since then, they have added quite a few to the list here. Uh, so the first one is going to be a 10-inch Infinite 100% Deku. That's going to look crazy. Personally, I think the 10-inch pops are too big. They just take up so much shelf space. But honestly, that one is going to look really cool. And a buddy of mine does collect some of the 10-inch My Hero Pops. So if he gets one, I'll bring it in here and we'll do a review for you guys because that is going to look awesome. Uh, the next one is just a common Aerie. It doesn't say what she's going to be wearing. Uh, the other one was an Aerie in uniform exclusive. Uh, so this will probably just be in her street clothes. Uh, hopefully a different mold or pose than the other one as well. Uh, but that'll be cool. Uh, the next one is going to be really great. They're doing Sir Night Eye. Uh, he's a really cool character, actually. Um, I do love him in the show, and I think it's great that they're doing a Funko Pop. A lot of people really liked him, and I was surprised they didn't do one yet. Um, so that'll be a really cool one, because he was a pretty integral part of Season 4. So definitely looking forward to Sir Night Eye. Again, I'll try to get a hold of most of these, if I can, uh, to do some review videos for you guys. Um... Now, the next one on the list is Kirishima in Hero Costume. Now, I thought they already did a Kirishima in the Hero Costume because they did a metallic version of it as well. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that this is going to be him when he was actually out patrolling and maybe it'll be in his Unbreakable mode. That would be really cool. I doubt it, though, because it, it would have said that in the list. It would have said Unbreakable, but it does say it's going to be in his Hero Costume. Uh, so let's hope it's a different pose at the very least. Fingers crossed for the Unbreakable mode because that would be amazing. Uh, what's next? We've got, so there's going to be another infinite 100% Deku as well. In my last video, I even said I wasn't sure what the pose was going to be, uh, or if he was going to have Aerie with him, or if it was just going to be him. We've now figured out that the exclusive Glow Deku is not going to have Aerie because they're doing another one, Infinite Deku with Aerie. So, uh, that one he'll probably have her strapped to his back, uh, just like in Season 4 though. So that'll be really cool. Uh, the next one, they're doing a, a Funko Pop as well of Mirio in the costume. Uh, so, again, in the last video we talked about the glow-in-the-dark keychain of Mirio in his hero outfit. Uh, but now it sounds like they're doing a regular size pop of Mirio in his Lemillion outfit. So that'll be a really cool one as well. Lemillion's such a great character. He's so positive. He deserves a Funko Pop. Uh, next, this one's going to be really cool as well. It's going to be Ryuku in her hero costume. Uh, the only thing I was a little disappointed about was I was hoping they'd make a variant of that in her uh, dragon mode. That would have been really cool. Uh, but that's a cool one. She is a bit of a side character, but it's nice that they do mix in a few of those side characters in with the Funko Pops as well, as well as the main cast. Uh, who's next? We've got Tamaki in Hero Costume. Uh, so he's one of the big three. Uh, he's actually a really funny character. He had an amazing fight uh, near the end of Season 4. So I definitely like him as a character. And he's going to be in his Hero Costume in this. I'm hoping that they add some effects. Maybe he'll have like an octopus arm or something coming out. So he's using his quirk. I think that would be a nice touch. Uh, but again, we'll have to wait and see. Because all of these are unofficial announcements, leaked lists. So none of these are confirmed until they're actually announced by Funko. Uh, so hopefully they'll announce that soon. And we can see some uh, concept art, see what these are going to look like. Um, but I, I've heard that these are supposed to come out in the summertime. I've heard August. Again, with these leak lists, I never put too much stake into the actual release date. Um, but hopefully at one of the toy fairs coming up or uh, one of the comic cons, uh, we'll hear a, a virtual announcement about these and they'll release some concept art and maybe give us a solid date. Uh, but it's a great list for My Hero fans. You guys are going to be super excited. They've got some awesome pops coming out. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which other ones you guys would like to see added to the My Hero line. I know there's a ton of different options. Uh, personally, I know a lot of people want to see uh, a 6-inch Gang Orca. That would be really cool. Uh, but let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Uh, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel because we're going to keep bringing you some more pop news updates and some great Funko Pop reviews coming up very shortly. Thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll see you next time.